व्हाइट हाउस स्पोक्स पर्सन करीम जॉन पी एर वाइल एड्रेसिंग द मीडिया ऑन फ्राइडे रिएक्टेड टू चाइनीज मिलिट्री ड्रिल्स इन द ताइवान स्ट्रेट एंड कॉल देम फंडामेंटली इ रिस्पॉन्सिबल देर इज नो नीड एंड देर इज नो रीजन फॉर दिस एस्कलेशन सेट पी एर वाइल एडिंग दैट अदर मेंबर्स ऑफ कांग्रेस हैव विजिटेड ताइवान मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन दिस ईयर अलोन Earlier, China said it conducted precision missile strikes in the Taiwan Strait hours after China's People's Liberation Army (PLA) began its largest ever military exercises, including live firing in the waters and in the airspace surrounding the island of Taiwan. This came in retaliation to U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei, which did not heed China's warning to the U.S. against supporting Taiwan independence. The US National National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications John Kirby also echoed PS statements earlier and said we condemn these actions which are irresponsible and at odds with our long standing goal of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and in the region China is conducting drills using land based missiles and fighter jets around six zones encircling Taiwan These drills are aimed at creating a blockade around key shipping ports around the island China's aircraft carrier Shandong CV-17 left the naval base of Sanya on the day of Pelosi's visit and Liaoning Air One also raised anchor from the home base in Qingdao. However, it is not just Chinese warships that are surrounding Taiwan. As a countermeasure against China's military incursions, the US also deployed its warships east of Taiwan. There are four US warships including a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier that is supported by two other warships. Meanwhile, China's foreign ministry on Friday said it has halted cooperation with the United States in a number of areas, including dialogue between senior level military commanders and climate talks in retaliation for Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. It is also suspending cooperation with the US on prevention of cross-border crime and drug trafficking and on repatriating illegal migrants among other measures.